Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. New concerns about PFAS chemical contamination in Macomb County. State Representative Peter Lucido hosted a packed town hall. He cited a new report about PFAS found at Selfridge Air National Guard Base. The levels exceeded standards in groundwater and storm runoff, which ends up in Lake St. Clair. The chemicals are often used in firefighting foam and manufacturing. Today is the deadline for registering to vote in the November election. Wayne and Oakland County clerks have extended their office hours. You can also register at your city or township clerk's office and any Secretary of State branch. The election now just four weeks away. The future of Eastland Center Mall goes on the auction block today. Two days of online bidding starts at $500,000. City of Harper Woods has been talking about a public-private partnership for a mixed-use development. It would include a new city hall on the site. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. There's so much active weather this week. Just wanted to show you the whole week at one time. Tomorrow in the morning, we start about 69 in Detroit. Cool of the verbs. Could be a little fog. Not as much as today. We get to 84, maybe an isolated storm. The shower chances on Wednesday are late. It's really evening and overnight storm chances here as the 80s go to the 60s and then to the 50s. Look at Saturday morning, 38, Monday morning, 38. So if you like this summer, feel enjoyed. It's not going to last very long at all. All right, Dave, thanks. A surprise visitor was rescued from the waters of Lake Michigan. A four foot alligator was found swimming near Waukegan, Illinois. A man noticed the gator this morning while he was kayaking. He originally thought it was a dead fish, but called 911 when he realized otherwise. The animal is being moved to the Wildlife Discovery Center in Lake Forest, Illinois. Those are your headlines. Go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. Have a great day. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.